Chapter 2. Adam Goes to Darpur. The next morning I got up very early. It was dark and everyone was asleep. But I was going to Darpur. I washed and dressed carefully. I put on my best clothes and I carried my best stick. I put the money order carefully in my pocket and I said goodbye to Martha. I walked 10 miles to the main road. I sat down at the main road and ate my breakfast. I waited for the bus. I waited for two hours. Then the bus came and I got on. It is a long way to Darpur. The bus takes three hours. I arrived in Darpur and walked to the post office immediately. I do not often go to Darpur. I only know the market and one shop. This is the shop of Rick. I buy things for my farm from Rick. There were a lot of people in the post office. I asked about money orders. A man showed me the queue. There was a long line of people and I waited at the back. Finally it was my turn, I was at the front of the queue. But the official did not serve me. Excuse me, I said. It's my turn, I'm next, you are next. Old man, I'm very busy, the official said. Look at my papers, look at all these people. I am very busy, and you must wait. So I waited. Finally the official looked at me. What do you want? He asked. I gave him my money order. This is my money order for 100 pounds, I replied. The official held out his hand. Identity card, he said. Excuse me, I don't understand, I replied. Your identity card, the official said again. Give me your identity card. What is an identity card? I asked. I can't give you any money for this money order. First I must see your identity card. Your identity card gives your name and your address. Your identity card describes you. There is a photograph of you in your identity card. I don't know you. Who are you? The official was a little angry. But I was also angry. Who am I? I said. Everyone knows me. I am Adam of the village of Minta. I haven't got an identity card and I don't need an identity card. Old man, I'm very busy and you're very stupid, the official said. Who are you? Where is Minta? Give me my money. Give me my 100 pounds, I said. The official looked angry and said, show me your identity card. I don't know you. The official gave back my money order and he turned away. Where can I buy an identity card? I asked the official. He did not speak to me. He did not answer. Go to the Ministry of the Interior, a man said. He was standing in the queue. And he told me the way.